How are we doing everyone? Hope you're all well. Happy Friday, as they say. Now, yesterday I did a live on the YouTube channel, which by the way, I love doing the lives. You guys come on, you interact, uh, you say some funny shit, you're always trying to get me to say some pretty uh, pretty controversial things. Uh, you know, there's a lot of joke things in there, like, you know, I don't know, like, uh, Mike, give out my, give my friend a shout out, cream of some young guy, or something like that, whatever. There, there's some, there is some funny ones, though. there's some ones that are just a bit out of order and very, very racist as well, so stop that if you're doing that. But anyway, I love doing the chats, uh, the lives, pardon me. So uh, yeah, thank you all for interacting because it's it's uh, it's a lot of fun. We do the polls. One of the producers, Anthony Evans, that works on the channel, he does the polls and things like that. So yesterday we're doing a live. We're talking about all kinds of things, answering your questions. And then, of course, who pops up? Now, you may know this guy's name. You probably don't. His name is Dylan Dennis. I call him Dildo Dennis because, let's be honest, the guy is an absolute goddamn fucking dildo. He's an absolute dickhead. Um, apparently, he's some kind of jujitsu guy. Okay, and you know, all right, good for you, whatever. Apparently he's had a couple of MMA fights, but not for years and only against absolute no marks. And now all he's famous for is A, carrying Conor McGregor's bags, B, cupping Conor McGregor's balls, <laughs> and C, trying to look like Conor McGregor. Conor's loaded, Conor has a lot of nice clothing. Dylan Dennis, if you ever see him on Instagram, he's always wearing these really, really bad shirts, just trying so hard to be Conor McGregor. Says he owns Bellator and I'm the highest paid fighter and all this shit, it's just cringe. He went on the Ariel Helwani show, I don't know why Helwani had him on there, uh, and Helwani just made mincemeat of him, absolutely made a complete mockery of him. Anyway, the point of this, and as I say, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do this because this is giving him what he wants. He's such a little attention whore. He's like a little girl, a little a little teenage girl that wants to be famous on TikTok. Why don't you get on TikTok, Dylan? Give it a bit of fucking this shit, whatever it is that they do. You know what I mean? You probably get more traction like that because you ain't going to get it in the MMA fucking world, okay? We're dealing with real men and women that like to step into an octagon and actually fight, put their money where their mouth is, right? Do some real talking with their fists. Uh, and you are not capable. Anyway, he came on the chat. And by the way, literally paying me money to say his name and they're uh, talking shit saying, I'll give you $100,000 if you fight me. Oh my God, it's just embarrassing. And then doing the same with Jake Paul and calls people out all the time. Even when I went to New York for UFC 268, he was like, oh, you're in my city. You fucked up not checking in with me. It's like, wow, grow up, please, you absolute fucking little fool. You know, I, I know the guy just wants PR. The guy wants PR, but normally you want PR when you've got something to sell, when you're working towards something, when you're trying to sell a fight, sell a pay-per-view, sell a book, a documentary, which I've got coming out soon, a podcast, a YouTube channel, something. Dylan, you have nothing, okay? So please, for the love of God, stop making a total fool of yourself. As I say, I'm gonna show you some clips of the live, what we had, and thank you all for coming on the lives. Uh, it's weird, I never thought I'd see myself sitting there for an hour, sometimes an hour and a half, talking at a screen uh, with no one talking back. But it's actually a lot of fun because in the chats, you guys say some absolutely hilarious things. It blows my mind. As I say, some borderline stuff, some downright absolutely racist stuff as well, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, but the funny stuff, the joking names and all the rest of it, I like it. You can see, you see it on my face. So thank you all. I mean, this channel has blown up. I only started using it in uh, August, I think it was, September, uh, July maybe. And already we're on 30, 338,000 subscribers. Never thought I'd be doing this, but uh, it's because of the response that I've had from you guys, the, the appreciation that I get. And when we do the lives, what a great time that is. I, I love it. I love it. I really do. Anyway, I've rambled on for long enough. Here's some of the best bits, the worst bits, the low points of Dildo Dennis, okay? And he is an absolute dildo. Listen, I gave you a bit of advice on the chat yesterday. You know what I mean? Do yourself a favor. Take that advice. If you want to be a tough guy, go and fight, go and train, get in the ring and be a real man. And if you don't want to be a tough guy, that's fine. Not everyone's cut from that cloth. Not everyone can be a tough guy. Not everyone can be a champion MMA fighter. But you just want it so badly, don't you, that you're just going to pretend to be one. Anyway, get a grip. Wish you all the best. And all you guys... Thank you very much for watching. And anyway, here's the best bits of Dildo Dennis. Did you see those comments from Bryce Mitchell on the Alpha Warner show? Did you see those? Dylan Dennis, keep running. Next time I see you, I'm taking the other eye, my son. Dylan, you couldn't fucking fight your way out of a wet paper bag. You couldn't fight your way out of a wet paper. Why don't you go fight someone? Because you haven't fought anyone. You fought no one. You're an absolute fucking little dickhead. But keep sending me 10 bucks at a time. Appreciate you, knobhead. And you wouldn't say jack shit if you saw me. You would not say jack shit to me. Anyway, I'm not lowering myself to you, you little... 
You got me saying bad words. Almost said a bad word there. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Eagle FC saw the one event. Yeah, did great. Well done for Khabib. Dylan Dennis. Is that actually Dylan Dennis? Why don't you want to box me? Because you're a little <laughs> scumbag piece of shit and you're not worth the fucking, you're not worth the steam off my piss, mate. Uh, would you like to see Mike do a video on how I beat Anderson Silva? Would you, what, what would you say if you met Dylan Dennis? What's up, Dildo? Watch out, there's a bouncer. Or, Dylan, check this one. 43% will be like, who the fuck is that guy? Because no one knows who you are. So just fuck off, will you? Dennis, Dennis can't even beat up a chocolatier. I know. Ah, he can't. He got choked out by a chocolatier. So if no one knows who I am, why is every one of your tweets about me? You're most liked my you knob. Oh my, Dylan, just go away. Just go away. <laughs> just go away. You're pathetic. You're coming on here. Oh God, you're so pathetic. You are funny. I mean, I pity you. You want a joke, you are. This is what you want. I'm giving you what you want. You want me to talk about you on here. So it's some kind of PR, a little bit of advertising for you. But that's not what you want. You really, listen, I'm going to give you some advice. Do you, is this what you really want to be known as? Some shitty little troll that never fights, that couldn't fight as well have a wet paper bag, but is just an annoyance? Ariel Hawani made you look like an absolute fucking fool on his show. How about you stop acting like this? How about you grow up? Be a real fucking man. Step in the octagon and try and earn a bit of respect. Try and be a man. Try and fight. Stop, stop talking shit on social media. What are you, 14 years old? You really, really need to get a grip. And this isn't me insulting you. This is me giving you a little bit of advice. Take a long look in the fucking mirror, mate, and get a grip, you fucking absolute numpty. All right. Uh, ba -ba 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 but what else we got? We're going to go down the bottom here. Love from New York, mate. We should love New York. Dylan got slumped by a bouncer. I felt bad for him. Yeah, don't. Uh, who, oh, it keeps moving so fast. How many eyes do I have? Well, you know, I have one. <sighs> How safe is shooting to someone's leg in the street fight? Don't do that. Don't shoot for someone's leg in the street fight. Simple as that. That is why... Jiu-jitsu is a little bit flawed. Jiu-jitsu is great if you hit the ground. But you don't want to fucking shoot for someone's legs in a street fight. Dylan Dennis, you shoot for my leg in a street fight, I'm going to stomp on your head. And by the way, someone else is probably going to run up and boot you in the face. You're on the floor. You're about to go for an Oma platter. Someone just stamps on your fucking head. Oh, there you go. Jiu-jitsu that. Do you know what I mean? So you got to be able to use these things as well. If I was in a street fight against multiple people, you got to keep it on the feet. You know what I mean? Bang, bang, one shot, the lot of them. You know, it took me a long time to become the champ. Oh, God, here he, look, look, dick face is back again. Dildo Dennis. Let's try it then, Bisping. I'll put $100,000 in the street fight. I'll sleep you. You haven't got $100,000. You haven't even fucking, you haven't even got, you've got, <laughs> I don't even know where you live. You've got, you haven't got a hundred grand to rub together, you little stain. You little piece of shit. Uh, Turkey also, Mike, you didn't read my super chat count. Let me bang, bro. Hold on. How How's unemployed Dildo affording all these super chats? Connor's bag don't carry themselves, correct? What else we got? Stole McGregor's credit card. Two bucks a tit. Five for his ass. Pacific time. So that's 8 p.m. UK. We'll do a live recapping the fights and talking about God knows what else. And here we go. Here's, here's, here's Dildo again. <coughs> My side chicks looks better than your main one, pal. I'm everything you dream to be. Ooh, your side chick looks better than my wife. I'm going to show us a fucking picture then, you moron. Anyway, uh, Dylan Dennis can't fight sleep, mate. Give it up. Bisping will take his out and whack you with it. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, there it is. There it is. That's the live done. That's the live done.